In the spring of 2019, a classic anime was reborn from the ashes and given a new look like never before. That classic being none other than one of my favorite childhood animes, Fruits Basket. The nostalgia was intense with this remake, but fans that have seen both versions have noticed a very stark difference in tone. The 2001 version is much more comedic with Toto and the gang getting into so many wacky shenanigans daily. While the 2019 version still includes a few gag scenes and the more iconic funny moments, its tone is much more serious and feels more like a tragedy. You might be wondering how this can happen when the show centers around the same characters and story. You see, the direction that the 2001 version took the show is drastically different from its source material while the 2019 version is extremely faithful. These changes really irked off the series creator which really cancelled any chance of a season 2 for all you fans curious out there why your childhood favorite never got a sequel. The 2019 version altered course from the 2001 adaption by giving new life to a duo of characters that you obviously know because you clicked for the thumbnail or the title, one of the two. But yes, it is no one other than Shigure Soma and his mysterious relationship with the show's big antagonist, Akito. This relationship is so important that it cracked the story wide open and changed everything. With the second season just around the corner, I wanted to take a chance to explore how Shigure single-handedly turned the series from a slice-of-life slapstick comedy to a meaningful, tragic story. Just a quick reminder before going any further is that my opinions are 100% from an anime-only perspective. I really have no clue what's happening beyond the first season. <laughs> With that out of the way, join me to see how this one character changed everything. Shigure in the 2001 adaption is an extremely open book. What he portrays on the outside is very much who he is as a character on the inside. He is that obnoxious and pervy author who has to get away from his editor no matter what, even at the cost of her getting into comedic suicidal episodes. But that's the thing. That's all he really is in the 2001 adaption. He has no depth at all to him. While I do enjoy this eccentric, almost crazy type of character, he really did not put any weight into the story. That is upsetting to me because even as a kid, he was always one of my favorites. Let's compare this to the 2019 version of Shigure. He is still that obnoxious, pervy author who tries to get away from his editor at all costs, but there's actually more this time. Just like an onion, he has layers to him. Shigure is shown to have a much more sinister, mysterious side to him. When he is conversing with Hotori, he tells us how he is the one with the most dirt on his hands. He has a dream that he will do anything to make come true. This feeling that he wants to hold on to. It doesn't matter who he has to use to make it come true whether it be the pure of heart Todu or anyone else. We are kept in the dark of this dream, but it just adds more fuel to the fire of this great mystery. This plotline adds so much to his character and to the story of Fruits Basket. You see, while we progress through the series, this plotline of Shigure acts as a storyline that will eventually pull everything together. With its absence in the original, the story really just felt like one-off adventures with each member of the Somas. Another reason this is so drastically important is that this raises Shigure's importance to the story dramatically. He is not just this eccentric, mature figure anymore. We know that he has goals and a plan in motion. I very much enjoy how the show puts his hidden agenda in the background of the rest of the story. It really makes you think that there is something more going on behind the scenes waiting to rear its head. This subplot is oh so important because it really gave the 2019 version more to go on towards the second season. My thoughts on the matter are very clear to see. I love, love, love the new Shigure. While everybody is dealing with their emotions and their tragedies, Shigure is in the foreground stringing his master plan all along. This mysterious element adds a new layer to the show increasing its depth. Who knows who else Shigure is using for his master plan? Who knows what his master plan even is? Well, of course manga readers know, but you know, us anime only fans don't have a clue. Anytime a show adds depth to a character making them, one, more interesting, and two, more mysterious, is a good thing in my book. I assume the second season will finally dive into this major plan that Shigure has set into motion and explore another key difference that was missing in the 2001 version. That key difference being Shigure's relationship with Akito. It's a strange dynamic between the two as they are shown to be very close while being in constant odds with each other. 
In the 2001 version, Kido and Shigure very rarely interacted, making them almost strangers. On the other hand, in the remake, they are far from strangers. They have so many interactions placed in the story, and it really makes the viewer wonder what kind of relationship these two share. While I can't talk much about this odd relationship, as a fan in the dark of what's to come, I am fascinated at this relationship. Shigure seems like he is on the side of Yuki and the others, but at the same time he tells Akito that he is the one he truly cares the most about. Is he lying to them or is he telling the truth? Whose side is he really on? There are so many questions to ask and that is a good thing. This relationship opens up a new storyline that was missing in the original, and I'm sure the second season will finally open this can of worms. Finally, I want to talk a bit about Akito because I have had a small change of heart towards this character after re-watching the original. With the absence of this relationship with Shigure, we get a very different feel for this character. Akito just feels so isolated in the original. They are just cursed and hated throughout the whole story with no connection to any other character. While I dislike Akito very much in the remake, I have to say I feel very sympathetic towards the original version of Akito. They truly were alone. The original does a better job of making the viewer feel sympathetic towards Akito, but it also does have its drawbacks. You see, I hate to say that Akito's reasoning for being the way they are is weak in the original, but after rewatching the series, it does feel that way. Because Akito is so isolated, we don't get to learn much about their character except for the little comments here and there from other characters. This is where the remake changes adds more to Akito's character. Rather than being this antagonizing figure from the shadows like in the original, we get first-hand experiences with Akito through this relationship that Shigure shares. This character feels more fleshed out because of these interactions. I can say that the remake really did do Akito justice and set the groundwork for a fantastic plot in the second season. And let me tell you, I am beyond excited for this. As you can see, Shigure and Akito are key elements to changing the whole narrative of the remake. By altering their relationship and personalities, the remake is finally following the true story that the creator wanted for them. I, for one, am so excited to see where the story goes from here. To finally see Shigure's plot unfold and learn more about his mysterious relationship with Akito. What exciting mysteries does the second season really have in store for us? If you enjoyed this video on Shigure, then please consider subscribing for more Fruits Basket content. I will be sure to be making more once the second season comes out. Thank you for your time and your patience. I'm Brithy signing off. Sayonara friends.